All right, Rippers, it's good to have you back. Like I said, we were going to be doing some videos on getting ready to enter the challenges. There's two, and I forgot to tell you about the other one, but the challenges over on CRS Firearms, one of them is the 100, 100, 100, which I explained in my other video, so go back and check that one out. But the, the second one was at 100 yards, who can shoot quarter inch MOA bullseyes to make a smiley face? on a head target at 100 yards the fastest. That one's going to be a challenge. In fact, I may even use this one right here for it. Not decided yet. Depends. This video is about preparing, right? Figuring the best tools for the job. And when I saw these challenges, the 100 yards, 100 shots in 100 seconds, right? Head shots. First thing I thought about was my good old target rifle. This is an Anschutz German made 22. This thing will drive tacks at a hundred yards. Got a bipod on the front, which is something you need for uh, accuracy shooting in a lot of cases. Um, and I would run a sandbag on the back. And this, this gun has a heavy barrel on it, specifically designed uh, for consistency uh, and rigidity um, in order to keep uh, small groups at 100 yards, right? It also has a floated barrel and a really fine trigger. This would be a great choice, but the downside of it is it's a bolt action, which is slow, and it's only a single shot. That's right, there's no magazine. So for a speed thing where I got to get 100 yards out, 100 headshots in 100 seconds or fastest time I can, this would not be a good choice. So we're going to set this one aside. Now, the next thing I thought about, because, you know, I got to stick with guns I can either borrow or I have, right? So the next one I thought about was this one. Now, this one would be another good choice. It's a lever action, right? So you would be quicker than the bolt action it holds 10 rounds in the tube which is good it is a heavier octagon barrel so that would be a good choice as well and darn it you'd look good doing it right right but the downside is it's a hundred rounds so reloading a magazine like this where you have to undo a tube pull it out every time you run out of 10 rounds load up by hand each individual round and then put it back in there, well, that is not a great choice. And it's fixed sights or iron sights, right? So that being said, 100 yards, that's going to be really good. Now, if you can do it with this, and I'm sure some will try, and they might even be able to do it and get all their shots, but it's not going to be as fast as you would need or like. So this is not a good option. So we move to the next one which again is another lever action. And this one's a Browning. That one's a Henry, I believe it is. This one's a Browning, but it's got, it, it's got the same drawbacks as this one, but it does have a scope. And I thought, well, you know, I might be able to do that. Maybe I, you know, they said you could have somebody help you load magazines and stuff like that. So maybe I could get it done, but still that tube is is a real killer when you got people that are using things like semi-autos. So let's talk about that. The next one would be a semi-auto. Now this semi-auto right here, this is a Savage. It's a heavy barrel. And I could put a silencer on the end too to keep things quiet, right? That would help out too because the bang can slow you down if you're an inexperienced shooter or something like that. It does have a 10-round magazine and it's semi-auto, right? So I would... I just have to pull the trigger. I don't have to work any action. Now, the drawbacks to this one is that I would, one, have to go get 10 more magazines or nine more magazines and have one extra as a spare in case you have misses or malfunctions. And then the trigger isn't quite as good. This is a fairly reliable gun, but not the most reliable. And this has a red dot on it, right? So a red dot sight, while it is acceptable out to 100 yards it isn't quite as precise so this has a lot of things going for it though it's got the bull barrel it's got a floated uh barrel in it so it should be nice and accurate so it has some of what this has and yet has more of what these have but it doesn't have a scope on it and i think a scope is going to be something that's needed here right 
Now, let's move to the next one. Now this one, somebody is already currently kind of using something along this platform. This is your 22 AR-15, has 25 round magazines, which I do have uh, four of, right? Or five of, something like that. So I would be able to enter with this. Um, but, you know, I'd have to take one of the bipods off, which is not a big deal, and throw it on the front here so I can run a sandbag on the back. That would work out just fine. It does have a scope on it. It's not a high-powered scope. It's only a four-powered scope. So this is a good, and I think I'm going to have this one as my backup or secondary gun in case I run into trouble with the one that I chose. Now, that being said, the drawbacks to this. This one here is an M is a... It's an actual Bushmaster 22, or no, it's a Colt 22 AR-15. And, you know, it's semi-auto, but it's not, it's not the most reliable thing out there. And the barrel, it's a heavier weight barrel, but it's really just a barrel sleeve in a thicker barrel liner or on the outside. So it's not quite as accurate either. And it's not as reliable as a lot of them out there. So... The choice that I made was a rifle that I actually picked up for shooting steel at Steel Challenges. This is an SR-22 Ruger, and it's an AR-type style. It has a floated front barrel. The barrel is a heavier barrel, but it's not as big as that one over there, right? So... While this is a heavy barrel and these are known to be fairly accurate, it's probably not the most accurate, but you have to have some trade-offs. One, I can put a bipod on the front and it's floated, so we'll have some accuracy. And it's semi-auto, right? And it's built on the Ruger 1022 type platform. So that's good because that way those are known for reliability. You keep this thing greased up and clean when you start and do some fouling shots, you're going to be real good. Now, to give myself a little bit more of an edge, I did have a two and a half pound trigger lying around. So I went ahead and installed that. Now that's going to make it easier to get the shots off faster and more accurately, right? So that's a good thing. Now, you'll notice it's a magazine fed, right? So that's good. I can have high capacity magazines. I did throw a scope on it real quick. I scrounged up a Bushnell... I know that's not the best, but it's good enough for a 22. And I mounted with some good heavy rings on here. These are some good Weaver six bolt, or no, these are the two bolt rings, but they're a wider ring. It does have an adjustable objective so that I can tune it into a hundred yards and have a clean, clean, crisp, clean pitcher. Um, so this will get the job done. It also has the option of running 30 round drum magazines which they said was okay to do in that so with 30 rounds i would only have to load or do three magazine change or excuse me it already have one magazine in so two magazine changes and a third one for the last 10 rounds right so that's a plus or i can run four 25 round magazines and have the 10 rounder as a backup which is what i think i might do i'm going to go out and do some testing i'm going to bring you guys along with me to see if this is shooting accurate to get it on site and what we do to tune that up and get it on site as well as uh see how reliable the magazines are and decide which route i want to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this helped you not only make choices for competitions but also think through and make choices for tool selections for anything that you do in the shooting sports, whether that's hunting, competition, um, self-defense, and other things like that. So until next time, you guys stay safe, stay secure, always be aware of your surroundings, and be getting ready and prepared for anything that may come your way. And most of all, if you have it, carry it. And if you carry it, shoot it. Practice, practice, practice. Till next time, adios.